I recently assembled this clone army. And after collecting all my minifigures, spending thousands of dollars, and opening countless battle packs, I was the proud owner of a pretty decently small-sized clone army. So to make things interesting, I thought it'd be fun to customize my clones with armor and accessories and throw in some upgrades for maximum firepower. So today, I'm upgrading my clone army. And we're gonna start with this base plate because you'll notice that they're all the same phase one clones with different designations from regs, pilots, gunners, and a few ranked troops, also known as the Skittle clones. Again, the Skittle wars have. Mm. But more than that, what really sets these clones apart are their names they've given each other, which sometimes come from their ID numbers or it was just a nickname. It's and do you guys remember Domino Squad? This squad includes Heavy, Fives, Echo, Cut Up, and Droid Bait. And they seriously struggle. Time to watch the Dominoes fall. Behind you! Broke formation. Disobeyed order. This is an automatic failure. But thanks to the wise old defective clone 99, EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! Several of these clones achieved the rank of ARC Troopers and went on to become some of our most beloved characters. So let's recreate ARC Trooper 5s, starting with the new 501st Jet Trooper. I think the waist cape from the 212th Airborne Trooper looks pretty good. Then I added on some armor. These are attachable gauntlets that are held on with minifigure hands. And I think LEGO really needs to make more armor, like pauldrons and such, but in the meantime, I used this armor from Savajo Press. I also think the fifth brother armor would look sick too, it's just that the helmet won't fit on. For the weapon, I have a custom DC-15A blaster from Brick Tactical, and I'll tell you more about that later. With Arc Trooper 5s leading the way, let's add in another familiar face and recreate Arc Trooper Echo. So I'm gonna use another one of those waist capes, this plastic shoulder pauldron, and a gray rangefinder. It also looks like he favors the DC-15S, but you could also brick build all these guns, and I'll show you some designs I came up with later in this video. But right now, we just need to round off the squad with two more troopers. Let's Let's give this blue armed and tally marked trooper the macro binoculars and a real backpack using these pieces. For the weapon, I'll give him this custom sniper rifle and his name should be Longshot. Rounding off the group with some firepower, let's grab both the printed shoulder and leg armor pieces and then I'll add some more leg armor. I'll also give him a visor and a backpack. Then so that he can provide cover fire, here's a massive Gatling gun so that he can spin up some clankas. We'll call in Buster. Now to deal with the side build that comes in this battle pack. Which is the AV7 cannon. Apparently, if you take four of these sets, there's an alternate build so that you can make a much larger cannon. Still not nearly minifigure scale, but a heck of a lot better than this dinky thing. And I think this looks pretty good. Worth $80 though? I mean, yeah, when you get 16 clone troopers with it. I've also credited the designer down in the description below, so feel free to check it out and build this for yourself. There's also tons of alternate builds from the previous 501st set, like this Republic fighter tank, this ARC-170 starfighter, and this ATTE, which is like super fragile. But hey, at least the starfighter is sturdy. Well, at least we still have the fighter tank. And what even is this? But don't worry, I did a whole video on all these alternate builds, so feel free to check that out if you're interested. Now that our 501st squad is locked and loaded, let's have them join Anakin and Rex. And you know what I just noticed? This box art shows the Battle of Urbana, but I just rewatched this episode and I never saw an AV7 cannon. But you know what I did see? Commander Cody in the 212. If you haven't gotten yourself an Emperor Palpatine hologram, then what are you doing? But we don't actually need the hologram just yet. What's worse than omitting the hologram piece in the ATTE set is the fact that the helmets just look weird. So I'm gonna take one of the older 212 helmets and some airborne troopers to make Cody his own squad. First, let's take our Cody minifigure and give him a proper jetpack. Green was all I had, but this'll do. Then I gave him a DC-15S, and yes, I know there's a better visor piece, but I sold mine and I don't have it anymore, okay? Then to really join in the fun, let's make this 212 trooper a jetpack trooper using this missile jetpack, which has a nice orange accent, but I just really can't help myself, so here's the custom one, and for his name, he'll be called Rocket Man. Then to finish off the squad, we need our two airborne troopers, and they already have waist capes, but this one is my rider, so I covered up the police logo on the shield, and then finished it off with one of these long blasters. See if you can guess his name, I dare you. His brother had dreams of becoming a football player, so here's the dark trooper shoulder pads put onto a clone trooper, and of course, a heavy weapon. I shall name him Tackle. Now all of these custom blasters are from Brick Tactical, and I bought their 10 pack of clone blasters along with the sample pack because they're really accurate and inexpensive. So this is the first custom upgrade I would recommend, as it's great for displays and mocks, but they also ship worldwide, which is nice. Also, if you do want to pick these up, you can get 10 free blasters when you spend over $35 by using the code Danny at checkout 
which is perfect for upgrading your army with custom weapons. But if you're a LEGO purist, however, then you probably want brick built guns, so I've got a few ideas for you guys as well. Grab your extra parts bin and start collecting small pieces because black minifigure hands make great grips on the LEGO blasters, but if you combine these kinds of pieces together, you can make lots of different kinds of heavy weapons. Clips can be used as sights, and you can clip on attachments like this shield. I will say though, LEGO is really missing out on accessories, like they won't make more accurate blasters, they've done away with cloth pauldrons and waist capes, so if you do want to get into custom upgrades, then this is basically what's available. You can get printed arms, custom molded backpacks like this one that actually fits a thermal detonator, and plenty of blaster options. So I've linked a couple sites in the description below if you guys want to go shopping. It does allow you to get more named characters like Hauser here, and even new helmet molds like Commando Gregor, and yes, I do have all of Delta Squad. But whatever you do, don't cheap out because this is what a $4 fake Lego clone minifigure from Etsy looks like. Oh my gosh, I actually got the helmet off. I don't know what it is, but this is the goofiest looking helmet that LEGO's ever made, and it still looks way better than this fake one. Now I did get these custom backpacks for the boring, the Bad Batch, and I like how each of them fits the character really well. Echo also has a custom arm piece, and Crosshair's backpack has a clip for his gun. Wrecker's armor is just too large for an accessory, so I just gave him a larger gun. For Omega, I gave her a backpack that actually closes, a Hoth Rebel helmet, bow, and topped it off with some goggles. Another character from the Bad Batch is Captain Wilco, so I had to include him here as well. It's show accurate. Another way to make your clones look really good is by displaying them. Not just in a mock, but actually try out a display case. Here's one that's super cheap. It's a $20 display from Amazon, and it's very basic. It uses LEGO compatible studs, so I'd recommend laying down your own plates to protect your trooper's little footsies. But if you want something even nicer, the best minifigure display case I've seen as far as quality goes is the eye display at 40 fig case. And these things are no joke. Like, they're really nice. And I like to keep all my named characters in this case. And speaking of which, are there any other named clones aside from Rex, Cody, Wolf, Fox, Neo, and Gree? Let me know in the comments below, but in the meantime, let's build out Commander Gree's elite squad of 41st troopers. I really love Kashyyyk, and all of its ambient flora and fauna. It just seems like a really beautiful place to live. First, let's equip Gree with a backpack, so I'll place this clip on his back to hold the blaster, then cover it up with this brown slope. Here's his binox and a walking stick. For the scout, he's equipped with leg armor and a backpack geared towards technology. So here's his data pad and a single DC-17 blaster. For our tracker, let's give him Jin's poncho and satchel and a knife for any close combat. For our final scout, I'm adding Luke's poncho and some thermal detonators and for a weapon, another DC-17. But that's just it guys. Get creative with your own customizations and upgrades because there's a lot more accessories out there that I myself would like to try out. So let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. Make sure to leave a like. We'll see you next time guys. Let me know if you want to see a part two.